elaborate the the main point uh, made in our report. I think the strongest argument for creating a separate zone for Mumbai is the fact that nearly 35% of the passenger traffic of entire Indian railways takes place in Mumbai. This is reason enough for Mumbai to have a focused separate zone which can look into all the long pending needs of uh, the suburban services in the city. Since the inception of suburban services in Mumbai, <coughs> our city has grown dramatically. The city's geography has changed, the city's demography has changed. As uh, Sri Vivek Sahaiji pointed out, the MMR region, the Mumbai metropolitan region, is 10 times bigger than the island city, where for decades together, Central Railway and Western Railway operated the suburban services. Friends, it will appeal to any, any mind that uh, the system should be subservient to the people and not people should be subservient to the system. When a certain system ceases to serve the needs of the people, then that system or that structure must undergo reforms. If it doesn't undergo reforms, then it fails to serve the needs of the people and that is precisely what has happened in the case of the suburban railway service in Mumbai. It is a historical legacy that Mumbai came to be having two headquarters of Central Railway and Western Railway. These were not created after independence, these existed before independence and they continued serving the suburban services separately. It did not matter when the city was more or less confined to the island city, but as I said, now that the city is, is Mumbai is not any longer the Mumbai that uh, was there a few decades ago. This population is shifted. The plight of the commuters in the distant suburbs is perhaps not understood by the policy makers and by the decision makers in Delhi. So, Observer Research Foundation has come out with this report urging the government urging the railway minister to take this bold reform of creating a, an amalgamated, a unified suburban zone for Mumbai. It is because of the inability of Indian railways to meet the needs, the meet the demands of the people that the government of Maharashtra has had to step in by providing new modes of mass transit, that is metro, through MMRDA and also through SIDCO. Looking at uh, the growing demands of the people of Mumbai, the time has come for a holistic plan, a holistic plan that looks at both rational scientific land use and also a rational, scientific, holistic, multimodal transport system for the whole of Maha Mumbai, that is Mumbai metropolitan region. And in this holistic, multimodal transport system, we believe that uh, the unification of these two zones is one of the most important first steps. It is not enough. It is only a necessary step, but it's not a sufficient step. 
we believe that many more reforms will be needed to create that integrated multimodal transport system which gives priority to the people's comfort priority to people's safety the very fact that mumbai loses 3500 people every year is a crime of absolutely unsurpassed proportion anywhere in the world and we believe that creating a single zone is one of the first steps it is not in itself going to change this uh, this tragedy or this crime but it is one of the first steps to make indian railways pay focused attention to this so safety comfort speed all these factors are involved and uh, we urge you friends to give the importance that this issue deserves next month the railway minister will be presenting his railway budget aur hum aap se vinanti karte hain aagrah karte hain ki mumbai ki janta mumbai ki media dwara rail mantri jo mumbai kar hai unke samne hamari ye mang rakhe कि मुंबई के लिए एकत्रित सबर्बन रेलवे जोन होना चाहिए और यदि रेल मंत्री सुरेश प्रभु जी को लगता है कि ये आइडिया सही नहीं है तो वो मुंबई के लोगों को बताए कि क्यों ये आइडिया सही नहीं है ये उनकी जिम्मेदारी बनती है तो उसके बाद इस पर एक इनफॉर्म डिबेट शुरू हो सकता है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और कोई सवाल है आपके तो विवेक सहाय जी है जिसका जवाब देने के लिए सक्षम है